All this season, Connecting Point has been looking at the needs of and programs available to assist our military veterans coming home. Tonight, we look at how Western New England University in Springfield works to make things easier for the relatively small number of veterans on their campus. We spoke with Tony Meaty, Western New England University's Director of Administrative Information Systems and the Director for Media and Community Relations at WNEU, Ryan Zalasko. Veterans Coming Home is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by Pride Stores. We don't have uh, special services. We don't have special counselors. We don't have a vet center. But it's because we really don't need one. We, uh, we don't have a lot of vets. We have about uh, 50 to 60 each year. Uh, and we have extensive counseling services, and we have a, a campus center, and we prefer to try to integrate the vets in with the rest of the uh, student population, which they do very well. And so we may not have some of those special services that a large university has, but primarily it's because we just don't need it. Mm -hmm. Tony Muti, let me ask you, you're a veteran yourself. We mentioned a Western New England grad. You're now serving a first lieutenant the 104th Fighter Wing, Barnes, and Westfield. You work at Western New England. For a vet coming home, transitioning back to civilian life, not always as simple as it sounds. I mean, you, you've done overseas tours, I yes, believe, I right? Yes. Afghanistan or Iraq? I was in Iraq and Kosovo. Okay. Plenty of hard work there. It's not as simple as it sounds to just come back to everyday life. It sounds like making it as easy as possible is the Western New England University way. Absolutely. I mean, Western New England has lots of uh, people and resources available um, for our regular students as well as vets. And so we pride ourselves in having small class sizes, a lot of personal uh, attention. So that, that hands-on kind of approach would make a transition a lot easier. Brian, let's talk about the fact, and, and, and this, is, this is really big for a school like Western New England, again, mid-size mm -hmm. private university, U.S. News and World Report, every year puts out its, its list of the best schools, generally and in some subcategories. Western New England ranked very well in the top schools. And when it came to veterans services, working with vets, yes. one of only three schools in Massachusetts, one of only, I think it's, it's 234 nationwide that was found to be a best college for veterans. That's quite a feather in Western New England's cap. Well, again, it's partly because we have the uh, small class sizes, and it, it, what that lends itself to is very personal attention. Uh, we have programs that a lot of vets want. Uh, we have that, that a lot of colleges and universities our size do not have. We have the law and the pharmacy, engineering, the college of business. And so we have a lot of programs that uh, veterans are interested in uh, that uh, they have to come to us for. And uh, we also, we've tried to be very veteran friendly, even beyond just the students, uh, uh, veteran students, uh, within the community. Uh, because those veterans coming back, attending Western New England, they're going to be within the community eventually, anyhow, looking for, for work, uh, hopefully working here. And uh, we have worked very closely with Veteran Services of Springfield. Uh, we have, uh, in the last couple of years, we've put on two uh, summits for veterans. One of them was to bring together uh, companies, our business college uh, got very involved with this, and we brought together some companies that have specific programs, employment programs, to try to draw those vets in and employ them. And uh, there are three or four in Western Mass that were doing it very well. We wanted to bring them to the university and then invite several dozen other companies that don't have specific programs to try to hire vets and have that, those companies teach the other companies. Uh, it was very successful. We had uh, uh, a number of panels and discussions of how they uh, set up their programs and run them. And th probably the most important thing was convincing those employers that the vets oftentimes come back with very strong and, and, and unique skills that other applicants may not have, uh, management skills, leadership skills. And so uh, they, they, uh, the few companies that were doing it well, and within that was CMS, CNS Wholesale mm -hmm. and uh, Smith & Wesson. They've got a wonderful program. Uh, they were able to convince some of these other companies to start programs to, uh, to hire vets 
when they get through and they graduate from Western New England University. Tony Muti, Lieutenant Muti, let, let me ask you, I want to go back to the U.S. News and World Report thing, because that, that is a big deal. It, it's a big piece of national recognition. They say when they're looking at a school and evaluating whether or not they're the best college for veterans, they look at the school's participation in, in federal initiatives to help vets, their active service members uh, to apply, mm -hmm. to pay for their college, and to complete their degrees. Now, we've already made the point that as a, as a relatively smaller school compared to, say, a UMass, mm -hmm. you don't have those special people that do nothing but work with vets. So obviously everybody on campus, in, in financial aid, in the academic offices, in all the uh, admissions operations, everybody's got to be aware, top to bottom, vets coming in, they're the folks that have defended us, these men and women, these folks we're, we're going to try a little extra hard for and make sure anything that's out there for them, we get them. Absolutely. I mean, we have uh, we we're par participate in the Yellow Ribbon Program at uh, so that's a program where we could bring in people who have uh, served since 9/11, uh, and they have monies available and that can pay for most in most cases most of their tuition to Western New England University. But that involves a lot of paperwork, you know, making sure the right courses are sent to the right, taking the right courses, you're doing the right thing. Uh, so all of our student administrative service group works together to make sure that all those pieces come together, and we have the best uh, um, experience for the vets who come in and are trying to get a, a degree at West New England. And, and I got a feel that if there's word that any vet, any student certainly, but any vet in particular may be having a difficulty, and, and we all know what it's like going through college, all kinds of things can happen. It's, it's, it's an interesting time in life. My guess is you or anybody else is ready and right there to sit down, talk with them, work it through. Absolutely. I mean, I think we have a number of veterans that actually work at West New England, and I think they're all very aware that we have population of vets that are actually going back to school. And I believe that just our faculty in general and our staff are so student-centered in their approach that, that we recognize those things, we get people the right services when they need them, or just talk to people, work things through, try to figure out the best solution or alternative for an individual. I think that what we do for veterans is what we do for everyone. We try to treat everyone in the best possible way we can and give them probably the best education that we know how. Well, Brian Zolasco, Lieutenant Tony Muti, thanks for uh, what you're doing for vets. Congratulations to Western New England on the recognition received nationally. And thanks for coming in and talking with us. Thanks for having us. Pleasure.